Artificial intelligence is starting to drive a different sort of real estate boom in San Francisco. Rents have risen and plenty of office space still lies vacant. But now, AI companies are clamoring for manufacturing spots and space for robotics. One AI company that started in the Silicon Valley garage is growing its footprint in the city. And its founder gave our Kenny Choi an inside look at what they're working on. When Jan Lippart takes his dog for a walk, it quickly garners attention. He hasn't named his robotic quadruped yet. It is a little bit scary looking. Inside Open Mind, an AI robotics startup, a team of researchers and the Stanford engineering professor are locked in to make next-gen bots more capable, adaptable, and collaborative in real-world environments, including inside your home. If the quadruped dog does not see its owner, for 10 or plus minutes, it will explore the house, go find its owner, and make sure the owner is okay. At a nearby park in Soma, curious onlookers are impressed. I've uh, seen robots before, but bigger ones trying to be industrial and stuff, and I've not seen uh, ones as approachable and as uh, engaging as these guys, so very cool. Open Mind will soon deploy its quadrupeds for testing. Math lessons for kids, home security, and caregiving checks for seniors are on the list. We see the software and technology to, and the hardware to be essentially ready to go now. As AI startups in San Francisco continue to expand, real estate companies are seeing an uptick in demand for manufacturing space in the city, from Soma to the Third Street Corridor. Robert Sammons is Senior Director of Research at Cushman and Wakefield. It's definitely a change for San Francisco. San Francisco historically has been a software market. By comparison, Silicon Valley has more than 160 million square feet of R&D space. San Francisco has just 8 million zoned for manufacturing. Salmon says last year, only one tenant was looking for that kind of real estate, about 3,000 square feet. This year, it's a different story. Ten tenants are in the market asking for more than 650,000 square feet of what's called PDR space, production, distribution, and repair. Everything from automotive to robotics uh, to some of the chip makers, they're all kind of looking at space in San Francisco, really to be close right now to the AI tenants that are here. Jan and his crew are several steps closer to what they envision in the near future. Our main priority is to prove that the notion of thinking machines broadly deployed into homes, hospitals, and schools is no longer science fiction. Just a year ago, Open Mind was in its infancy being developed in his Palo Alto garage. Your workspace is really lively and inspiring. <laughs> now it's commanding others and taking center stage in San Francisco. Open Mind is also now looking for a larger space after its latest round of funding, raising $20 million. The company recently announced it will start rolling out 10 thinking dogs to homes next month to collect data and improve its technology.